Hi everyone, have a great day. This is page number 65. The first question. Pilot plant test results show that the PCFB can utilize 10% of excess, excess air while still maintain, maintaining a combustion efficiency of nearly 100%. Why the, uh, is this high combustion efficiency achieved then at low excess air? Answer. This high combustion efficiency is ascribed uh, to the effects of pressure on gas diffusion and the excellent lateral mixing or particles and gas in the relatively small pressurized combustion chamber. For all types of coals, carbon conver conversion efficiency in the range of 99.8% to over 99.9% have been consistently achieved. <coughs> Second question. Why are the high combustion efficiency and low excess air level important parameters in PCFB system? Answer. High combustion efficiency has two important advantages. Effic efficient utilization of coal. This higher fuel utilization rewards higher overall net plant efficiency. Two. Low residual carbon in ash due to high burn up. This improves the disposal properties and the potential for commercial utilization of the solid waste products. Low excess air is important for the following reasons. Since the temperature is in a CFB is primarily controlled by the generation and superheating of steam in the combustion. High excess air levels are not necessary to control combustion temperature. This is not true for IGCC technologies where an adiabatic combustor is used to directly fire the GT. The temperature of the combustor must be controlled by firing with high levels of excess air, typically in the range of 250 to over 300%. The net result is that for a given gas turbine, more air provided by the gas turbines compressor is available for combustion rather than the temperature control and so more fuel can be fired. More heat input results in greater power output. Ultimately the result in is a significantly lower capital cost. Second point is as excess air levels are reduced, less NOx emissions are produced, allowing very low NOx levels without addition controls. Next question, how much is the sulfur capture in PCFB? Answer, typical pilot plant data for sulfur capture in the PF, P, P, PCFB at Kartula, Finland is shown in figure. The sulfur content in the coal of the coals tested have varied from 0.43 to 3.5% on a dry basis. For high sulfur coals, as much as 90% sulfur capture has been typically achieved while using a calcium to sulfur molar ratio in the range of 1 east 15. Sulfur capture to the content of 95% has been typically achieved with calcium sulfur ratio in the range of 1.4 to 1.5. In, in many tests, Sulfur removal efficiency as high as 98% and even exceeding 99% have been achieved. Question. Is the mechanism of sulfur capture in a PZFB same, same as that in AFB, ACFB? Answer is no. The mechanism of sulfur, ca sulfur capture with limestone under pressurized conditions is different than the mechanism under atmospheric conditions. Why? Answer, this is by, because limestone CaCO3 does not calcine at high CO2 partial pressure conditions present, present in the PCFB. The result is the SO2 in the flue gas reacts straightway with calcium carbonate releasing carbon dioxide during the absorption process. CaCO3 plus SO2 plus O2 gives CaSO4 plus CO2. It is believed that this release of CO2 continuously exposes new reaction sites on the surface of limestone particles, allowing more complete utilization of the limestone.
so here we can see uh, the sulfur retention for low medium and high sulfur coals um, high sulfur coals are uh, pointed at as a rectangle shape and low sulfur is pointed as a circular dot and Kentucky medium sulfur is pointed out like star in the diagram you can see in the graph uh, left, uh, the x axis is smaller ratio called uh, calcium sulfur molar ratio and y axis is sulfur retention in percentage so high sulfur or low calcium molar uh, calcium sulfur molar ratio and low sulfur has high ratio and medium sulfur has medium ratio so the next question what is the level of NOx emissions in PCFB combustion answer 100 ppmvd 0 0.086 to 0.129 kg per mm kg or below can be achieved figure show the typical pilot plant data on NOx emissions question what is the reason for such low levels of NOx emissions from PCFB units answer thermal NOx production during any fuel combustion is depend depend on the combustion temperature the excess air level and the distribution of primary and secondary air combustion air stacking in the combustor the capability of operate at low levels of excess air the relatively low combustion temperature in the PCFP 1115 degree to 1200 degree Kelvin and optimal combustion air stacking minimizes the air the production of NOx in the PCFP question can the NOx emission levels be further reduced answer yes it can be further reduced by 60 percentage to 90 percentage by injecting ammonia at selected locations in the process non catalytic reduction of NOx uh, NO plus NO2 plus uh, 2NH3 gives N2 plus 3H2O question will reducing NOx emission level not invade ammonia slip another environmental question answer yes but the measured level of levels of ammonia slip have been observed to lie below those observed in conventional technologies question what are the other clean coal technologies that compared with PCFP answer pulverized coal scrubber technology pulverized bubbling fluidized bed technology integrated gasifi uh, gasification gasification cycle technology question how does PC scrubber clean uh, coal technology operate answer this is convectional coal burning technology with a radiant balanced draft direct fired pulverized coal fired type uh, fired boiler typically fitted with a regenerative air heater a selective catality uh, reduction SCR selective catality reduction reactor for NOx control a wet, uh, a wet limestone forced oxidation spray tower flue gas distribute uh, desulfur desulfurization for SO2 control and a bag house for particular particulate control one such process is schematically presented in figure all of the coal fired is used to generate steam which is utilized in a conventional Rankine, uh, Rankine steam turbine cycle how does PBFB system operate the pressurized bubbling fluidized bed technology utilizes a bubbling fluidized bed boiler operating at 1.2 to 1.6 megapascal inside a pressure vessel in conjunction with the gas turbine combined cycle combustion air is compressed in a twin shaft intercooled GT driven air compressor and flows to the PBFP boiler or combustor coal is fed as coal, coal water paste to the combustor a part of the combust combustion heat is used to generate steam in the inbound heat transfer surface. The steam then flows to the steam turbine which generates approximately 80% of the plant power output. In some 
PBFB designs primary and secondary cyclones are used, utilized to remove some of the partic particulate from the fuel gas upstream of GT. Of course, the blading for the PBFB GT expander is extra reg uh, regularized re to accommodate a certain level of erosion by the particulate in the flue gas. The remaining partic particulates from the PBFB flue gas are then removed in backhouse filter before letting it out to the atmosphere. In other PBFB designs, a hot gas filter is used to remove all the particulates from before the gas enters the gas turbine and no gas cleaning downstream is required. Thank you.